Hello and welcome to the latest edition of the Trades and Tutorials video. This is Jeff Bish, president of MarketGage.com. And in this video, I am going to show you uh, why the momentum in the TLTs, regardless of what the Fed's speaking about, um, has really just uh, pretty much fallen out of bed from right here. And uh, we can tell all that by using this indicator down here. And if interest rates are what's driving the stocks, then this is something that we really want to pay attention to. And then I'm going to take a quick look at how this same momentum indicator plays out on stocks right now as a teeter on a very critical inflection point. But before I get into all the details, I just want to make sure that if you're just finding us on YouTube, please subscribe and like this video. Also, you can find more videos like this at marketgage.com forward slash tutorials and we put out lots of information on Twitter at two different handles at market minute and at market gauge finally same deal with Facebook if you just seen us on Facebook uh, make sure you like the video head over to our site as well uh, and if you're not already watching this in HD you can do it by changing the setting lower right hand corner that little gear icon all right, so I, I am going to get into more details about how this indicator actually works in a free webinar that will be on October 20th. Uh, I'll put a link to that free webinar uh, in and around this video at marketgage.com uh, forward slash tutorials if you're seeing this on Facebook or on uh, YouTube. But the, the indicator is really easy to use. We call it real motion. And uh, the, the way, the basic way to use it uh, is simply to know that if in my chart up here, the blue line is a 50-day moving average, the green line is a 200-day moving average, and uh, the chart down here is our real, real momentum indicator. It measures, well, momentum, and this is a 50-day measure of that momentum. This is a 200-day measure of the momentum, and in its simplest use, you want your momentum to be doing the same thing as your charts, but that your price charts but that's not always the case and that's what usually or very often will catch traders off guard so if a if a price chart so let's just take a quick look at the TLTs if the TLTs pull back to say their their 50 day moving average you are a trader you're looking for it to either hold or break well you look for it to hold if your momentum is essentially holding as well. Now you're always trading the price, so when it starts to head higher, as long as your momentum hasn't completely broken down, then you're you're gonna bet on the higher. But if you come to your 50-day moving average, you start to break down, and you're looking at your momentum, and you can see your momentum's already breaking down, then this is not one that you're gonna anticipate it's gonna do a quick uh, reversal on you. Right? And you can see what will often happen is the momentum here will find itself stuck under its 50-day measure. When the price is over the 50-day measure, then that, that price is going to have a hard time moving higher. It just doesn't have the, the momentum. When the momentum kicks in, then the price is kind of free to go its merry way. So the importance of all this is what's going on right now. The Fed, whether the Fed raises or holds, um, the the bigger problem here is that rates are are higher, and the momentum is higher, and we can see that right in here. So in this whole period, you can see momentum is kind of falling apart as the TLT itself was hugging the 50. Now, what does that mean? It means that when it breaks, if it breaks, you got to get out of the way, and that proved to be the case. But here's the big problem. Here's the, the really bearish setup. And that is, you've got a scenario where you've got your price sitting on top of your 200-day moving average. It's just broken down. But your momentum is well below its 200 measure. And when the price rallies back up to the 50-day moving average, the momentum can't get back to the 50, doesn't even get back up over the 200. Uh, so it's the momentum is dramatically lower and bearish. So as soon as a situation like this rolls over, and, I, and most of you as traders would know that a breakdown of the 50, rally back up to the 50 is one of those areas that markets like to uh, then roll over and, and have a nice correction. 
um, but sometimes they head fake. Well, here's telling you it isn't going to head fake this time, and it rolls back over. So now we sit here at the 200. Sitting at the 200 with momentum that is completely broken down, all right, not not oversold yet, but but pretty broken down. Um, if this breaks the 132, it is uh, we should look for another break. Now I say that it's not oversold, but it is at an area that has proven to have some support. So the dots here are the momentum, and very often they will actually have their own support and. Um, resistance levels so I'm not I'm not going to look at this and say that we have to bounce off the 200 I'm not gonna look at it and say we have to break but I will look at it and say that if this breaks the 132 level um, bonds are in uh, in big trouble all right so now let's take the same analysis and just do a quick look at stocks uh, let's take a look at the spies and I'll show you that uh, this similar scenario played out uh, last year, at the end of the year, where now that you know how to read this, you've got your uh, your 50, your blue, under your, your 200 here, and your daily under the 50. At the same time, the, the markets for 2015, if you recall, were just kind of going flat and bouncing off the 200. So this really was miraculous that the break of the 200 didn't continue. Had it continued, this would have been a perfect... Uh, set up for a really sharp decline. Uh, as it turns out, we did get it when it did finally break the 200 in terms of price. This was already had been warning for months that the momentum was weak. On the upside, uh, when the when the markets turned back over the 50, the momentum here stayed uh, positive, or I should say, broke along with it and moved higher. When the um, momentum couldn't really get over the 200, it struggled, pulled back. You see how it goes. All right, so where does that leave us right now in the spies? Let's take a look. So in the spies, we're sitting at a really critical breakout level. All right, the, the breakout of Brexit was here. We've retraced to it, and the momentum is basically doing the same thing as the stocks themselves, all right, or the, the index itself. So it's not telling, the momentum's not telling us that the price is any worse than it looks, but the price looks pretty uh, iffy as it is. Um, so there, I'm not going to say there's a special read here. The TLTs, however, is, uh, is a different scenario. If the market breaks to the upside, we want to see, or I should say breaks to the upside, we're going to want to make sure that the momentum is also breaking to the upside. In the interim, which I'm not going to cover in this uh, particular session, this is meant to be a quick tutorials video, but I, I will go over some of the leading sectors. So what you don't want to see is the momentum in the leading sectors start to break down, or the momentum in the defensive sectors really break down because when it breaks down let's just take some an example of say McDonald's so you can see McDonald's had a very similar pattern and why do I pick McDonald's because this is one of those consumer um, stocks that everybody was in love with myself included uh, all through in here and you would have thought that after such a sharp bounce off the 200 and out of this support that it would continue along its merry way. But you can see by the momentum, which you now know, the momentum had completely broken down below its 200. And when, even though it rallied back up to the 50 or over the 50, the momentum couldn't get over the 50. The 50 was under the 200, completely the opposite of what was going on up here. So as soon as it started to head lower, it's big trouble. All right. So it's that kind of pattern we want to watch out for in the leading sectors, all right? And I'll go over stuff like that, plus a lot a lot more you can do with this indicator, how to read the markets. It's all going to happen uh, on the 20th. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, just be, if we go back to the spies, be aware that while the momentum in the market hasn't completely broken down, 
Um, if the market heads higher, we do want to see the momentum head higher. If the market heads lower, this is a very dangerous inflection point. You can see that uh, even without the momentum. Um, but the momentum is, is definitely in agreement with the direction that the price goes. All right. It's not leading it, it's in agreement. So be careful out there. Keep your eye on those spies. If they go lower, uh, go into a cautious mode. Hope that helps, and I will see you in the next video.